This video will show company admins how to use the various reports within MTCS Online. When you go into MTCS Online, on the left hand side there is a line of icons, one of which looks like a compass and it refers to your dashboard. If you click on that, you will come to this screen here. On the right hand side, there is a block that contains a link to the different reports that you have access to. There are currently four, but this may change over time. If we go to the first one, which is the employee's profiles report, what it will do is just simply give you a list of the employees within your company with their name, their picture if they've uploaded one, email address, date of birth, and the date that they last accessed the system. You have a filters option, so if you click on that, you've got various filters so you can sort of narrow your list down by filtering by first name or surname or similar. What you can also do is if a column header is blue and when you hover over it, it looks like a, a hyperlink, it will allow you to sort on that column. So if I click on the last access column, what it's done, you'll see there's a little up arrow next to the last access. That tells me that this table is now sorted by this column and it's done it initially with the uh, longest time since accessing at the top and then the most recent would be at the bottom. If I click again, the arrowhead will reverse, it's now pointing downwards. So I have the most recent at the top and then the least recent at the bottom. And you can sort on any column that is highlighted blue as the column header, but you cannot sort on a column that is highlight that is just black. The second report is the employee's progress report. And what this does, it's quite detailed. It gives you a lot of information. There will be a row for every employee and every course that that employee is on uh, for all of the live courses. So the courses that they're currently sort of enrolled onto. So you will have the employee's name, their date of birth, subdivision if that's appropriate for your company. We then have the course title and then there's a progress column. Now there will be four options. It will either be empty if nothing has happened. If the uh, employee has submitted something, this will change to submitted, but that doesn't mean that they've submitted everything. It just means they've submitted something. When the verifier comes in and they verifies the work, if they give feedback, that progress will change to feedback given. That means that the verifier has given feedback. It's now back with your employee to do something. If they resubmit, that would change back to being submitted. And then once they've finally completed everything they need to complete, that column will change to completed. You'll also be able to see the overall feedback comments uh, that the verifier has given. So it'll be the last comments that they've given. Uh, but that's for the overall course, not the individual uh, kind of assignments or activities within it. It's just the overall feedback. We have a column showing when they last accessed that course, another showing the date that they last logged into the site. And then if a certificate has been earned, you'll have the expiry, uh, the valid from date, the expiry date, the certificate code, and then a link where you can download the certificate. And as before, You've got filters, so you can filter for different options on the right hand side and you can click on any of the column headers if you want to sort by that column. The third report is a detailed employee's progression. Now this one will look slightly different because it behaves slightly differently, but again you will have one row for each employee and each course. And on the right hand side, there is a link that will allow you to actually view that specific course to see exactly what they've done within it. So if I'm going to go to this bottom link and what it's done is it's taken me to that course. If I go to the overview of students option, it will list all of the students from this com from my company. In this case, it's just the one. And then when I hover over the bars, I can see the different items and it will tell me that they've not completed. That means it's blue. If it's submitted and it's awaiting verification, it will be yellow. If it's been verified and it's complete, it will be green. 
if it's verified and is not complete it will be read so you can see at a glance what's been done and if you actually click on one of those boxes it will take you into that specific piece of work you can view all submissions and it will only show you people from your own company but you can then see when it was submitted you can see the actual files that they have submitted um, you can see what grade has been given and if the verifier has given feedback you'd be able to see the column the comments there so it's a very detailed report uh, but it will allow you to drill down if you wish to see exactly what an individual has done or needs to do going back to the dashboard the final report is the certificate report so what this will do is we'll list all your employees and all the certificates that they've earned uh, and this will include courses that they are no longer enrolled on so it shows you all certificates and it gives you the name that's on the certificate the valid from date the expiry date the code and an option to download that certificate if you so wish so they are the four reports that are available from your dashboard and as I mentioned earlier this list may increase if we design uh, reports that do other jobs they may get added to that list for you